Hi guys, I'm Karan, founder of Cosmos, and I want to give you a quick tour of uh, Cosmos. Cosmos is a space where teams come together. Uh, it helps to improve collaboration and uh, also helps you get to know your teammate because you would have interactions outside of scheduled meetings. Uh, now, um, as, I, as you can see, I'm scrolling out and this is the Cosmos space. Now, in the Cosmos space, everybody is represented by avatars. You notice me being represented by my picture and I can move around the Cosmos space by double clicking on the floor or an empty desk um, in, in the Cosmos space. Now, Cosmos spaces are customizable. Uh, you can choose your vibe. Um, as I zoom out, you'd notice that uh, it has two distinct parts. One is uh, meeting rooms. They're represented by dotted lines and boxes on the floor plan. The other are spatial areas. Now, spatial areas you'd see are areas where you see this blue box. This we call as the, uh, the spatial area outside or around the avatar. Now, Let's start with, uh, I'll, I'll start to explain to you what uh, spatial areas are and how they behave. Um, in a spatial area, I can talk to Stas by uh, going closer to him. Uh, and this helps you talk to your uh, teammates in real time. I'll demonstrate it. So I'll just double click on the uh, seat next to him and that will start a real time conversation between me and Stas. Hello Stas, how are you doing? Hello. How are you? <laughs> yes, I'm very I'm good. Fine, <laughs> Recording the demo. Uh, awesome. Uh, so uh, this way, your team can be present in the space at the same time uh, without disturbing each other. And having them around reduces the effort needed to collaborate and increases the pace of your work. Um, I'd invite you to try it with your team to truly experience it. Uh, some of you in this moment might be worried that uh, if I use Cosmos this way, um, you, you might be constantly distracted by your colleagues all the time. Uh, I, I understand that because you might have experienced that with other tools and I feel you. And in reality, we built Cosmos to actually kill distraction. Uh, it sounds counterintuitive and I understand that. Uh, I'll show it to you as to how it works. Now with Cosmos, We've uh, changed how statuses work. Uh, I, I like to call them true statuses. Now, statuses are um, over here in your toolbar at the bottom. Uh, you'd notice that uh, statuses in, our, in Cosmos are designed to be intentional, to be true, uh, and they help you feel together uh, in the same space with your team. Uh, let me show you how it works. Firstly, the available status is the most easy one. Uh, over here, you're available uh, and it signals to your team that you're ready to talk. Uh, second is listening. Uh, this is listening uh, or this is signaling to your team that I'm available uh, over here. I'm present uh, and I'm, I'm listening to you. Now, when I go to listening, my mic and camera will automatically switch off with one click. And if someone comes to me, they'll be able to hear the ding and uh, talk to you, the colleague in that moment. Now I'll demonstrate it by going to status. So I'm available. And now I basically go to stats. Hello stats, I'm demonstrating the listening feature. Are you around? And when stats listens to this, he can click one button and he can turn himself off. Thank you, now I'll not disturb you. <laughs> uh, second or third is actually uh, focusing. Uh, focusing is to signal that you're in deep work and that you don't want to be disturbed uh, in this uh, moment. And please note that if somebody comes to you while you're in focusing, you'll not be able to hear them. So they disturb you, basically. So I've switched myself to available. I'm going to be my colleague Raul and he's in the uh, focusing state and he will not be able to hear me. The last one is away. This is to signal that you're not present. Um, and it just turns everything off. Uh, of course, over here you can add context. So going on a on a walk, uh, and I'd be back in one hour. With statuses, our intention is to create the feeling of being together in the same space with your team, uh, because you kind of get a visibility of what's happening. Now um, I'll switch back to available. Um, for privacy. The way Cosmos works is that if you leave, if you're unavailable and if you leave your desk, um, you know, to um, uh, go to the washroom or something and you leave yourself, your mic to be on, 
Uh, if you're sitting alone and your desk and your computer is not having any activity, it would automatically move you to listening. Uh, and uh, if you still aren't there and your uh, computer goes off, we'll automatically move you to away. So everybody um, is aware of, okay, uh, and, they, and they don't have expectations that I'd be able to talk to, uh, uh, they'd be, my team will be able to talk to me in that moment. I hope you understand. Uh, so that's spatial areas. Now I want to actually switch gears and uh, go to meeting rooms. Uh, so just to quickly um, recap as to what we've covered. So we've had the intro to Cosmos. We've understood how spatial areas work. Now I want to go to meeting rooms. So let's start with uh, how do you see meeting rooms on the map? Uh, fairly simple. Uh, they're dem demonstrated or uh, showcased by dotted boxes um, uh, on the map. Now, the moment I um, go into a meeting room, they feel and behave. Um, they feel and behave uh, like meeting rooms in real life. So over here, um, you know, regardless of where I am, I'd be able to see and hear everybody who's in the room. Uh, and as you notice, as I stepped into the meeting room, you'll instantly start to see my colleague, right? Now for privacy, uh, you can also uh, lock the meeting room. Uh, you can put a timer in the meeting room uh, and a few other features. Um, the important ones over here are uh, all the features which are in the bottom uh, toolbar. Um, there are all features which you'd expect. So um, I'll mention the important ones. Uh, Cosmos meeting rooms uh, support 4K uh, screen share, ability to annotate, uh, ability to share multiple screens. Uh, then we have the whole host of recording and uh, recording uh, summarization, uh, also transcriptions, um, all powered by uh, Cosmos AI. Uh, and then third thing that Cosmos uh, has inbuilt uh, whiteboard, you can also embed apps and much more. You can do that by pressing this open app button and I'd invite, invite you to try it out. Thanks, Kuri. I'll uh, continue with the demo. Now, uh, now that you've basically had people in a meeting room, um, the next question which comes to your uh, mind or generally which, uh, which, which I get asked is, this is all cool, uh, now how do I invite people for meetings and co-working sessions, right? So in order to do that, you basically log into Cosmos and then you press this button uh, which has invite users in the bottom toolbar. The moment you press this button, you can invite people uh, to come talk to you uh, who are already present in the space. Um, that's one. The second is how do I get people from outside? You can basically copy this invite link um, and uh, you know send this link to people uh, and guests who come in, they not need to log in. They enter Cosmos in a Google Meet style uh, gallery mode. I'll show it to you this over here um, so that they, they see what they're used to. Uh, and if you want your uh, friends or your teammates to have access to the Cosmos space where they can just walk into the space and come in by themselves and not have to be let in, uh, I request you to uh, add them as members. So to do that, you basically press the settings cogwheel and press user access and this will take you to the uh, user management uh, page and you can add people over here. Uh, so that's how this uh, this works and sorry I've double uh, right clicked uh, so that's inviting people uh, secondly uh, you know you uh, sometimes invite a lot of people through uh, calendar invite so when you're creating a, a calendar invite you can also integrate Cosmos uh, in Google Calendar and Outlook uh, that gives you the ability to just have one click uh, uh, calendar uh, meeting links and that will basically Cosmos will create a meeting link this link can be clicked um, the guests go to uh, the entry page and are able to uh, join Cosmos uh, for a meeting. So that's basically how you get people to come into the Cosmos space for meetings and co-working sessions, right? Now I want to focus on the next question, which is what's the best way to uh, use Cosmos? And the answer for that is that you use Cosmos for co-working hours. Uh, in order to do that, you first, you know, f um, talk to your team, uh, oftentimes teams which start using Cosmos are um, either struggling with the lack of interaction outside of scheduled meetings uh, or they feel a lack of, um, um, a lack of uh, pace or a lack of uh, connection. So you talk to your team in a retro um, or the, uh, a conversation, set the time for uh, figure out what time can everybody be present. 
uh, inside of Cosmos. Uh, that could be Mondays and Fridays f- for lunch time or 12 to 5. You guys do you. Uh, put it in the calendar. Uh, and once the calendar is set up, you then show up. And once you're in the space, uh, everybody just picks up their own desks. Uh, and you use statuses to signal your availability. Um, some of you could be listening. If you guys are really focusing that moment, you can also be uh, focusing. And that's totally fine. And uh, that's the best way to use Cosmos. Now, for all individuals, the last bit which I want to uh, focus on uh, is that for best experience, I would request you to download the Cosmos desktop app. And I will also request you to not use Cosmos like Google Meet or Zoom for that matter. Uh, Cosmos is not a video calling tool. It looks like a video calling tool because it has video calling in it, but it is not a video calling tool. Cosmos is a digital space. And if you want to make the best of a digital space, you have to be in it. So uh, to experience the AHA, uh, please decide a time for you and your friends to be available in the space. uh, And uh, then you can experience the AHA. Uh, If you people choose to not be in the space, then you're using it wrong. Um, And that's your choice. Um, but I'm just telling you how to make the best use of Cosmos. Then, uh, lastly, uh, for uh, individuals who want to use uh, and make the best use of Cosmos, I would invite you to please uh, download the Cosmos desktop app. You can do so by uh, going to cosmos.video forward slash download. Pretty simple. Once you do that, download the app. Uh, If you download the app, there are a few benefits. First is that you get to experience the amazing pop-out mode which is this one, where Cosmos gets out of the way. Uh, Over here, you have one-click access to all the important buttons uh, and also a very important button to get back to the Cosmos experience. One click and uh, you'd be there. Secondly, um, people, while you're sharing your screen, people will be able to annotate uh, with the desktop app. So if you are on a desktop app, everybody else who's in the call will be able to mark on your screen. Uh, Thirdly, uh, with the desktop app, uh, you you get privacy features, so Cosmos will automatically go to listening, automatically go to away, um, because we have access to understanding how if your computer has been used or not. Lastly, just to reiterate, Cosmos is an intimate space for your internal image team, uh, the people you work with daily. Uh, th- you can use this space to be with them, work with them, hang out with them, and ultimately feel connected.